Hello and welcome to this explainer video on how to become a juror on the Kleros Court. So at this stage I'm guessing you know about us, you maybe have read some articles or uh, seen some mentions on Reddit or such or Twitter and you're interested in becoming a juror, so how do you do that? So the first thing you want to do is you want to come to our court. If you type in court.kleros.io you'll be greeted with a screen very much like this one. So the first thing you want to do is you want to check the courts because different courts require different amounts of PNK. So basically, a PNK, which is our native token, uh, is one to one with votes. So one PNK equals one vote. Uh, the more votes you have, i.e. the more PNK you hold, the more chance you have of being drawn in disputes. So you want to come over to the Courts tab up here and click Browse. You will be presented with a screen as below, which is a list of the different courts that we currently have available. Uh, moving forward with Kleros, this will expand into many, many different subcourts. They stem from the general court, which you see here. We have the blockchain court, which splits into two branches at the moment. Uh, marketing services, which is related to our Scrow, DAP, English language and video production. So any disputes that were created in either of those three uh, Scrow use cases, for example, uh, would end up there. So let's have a look at the uh, blockchain tab at the moment. So we have non-technical and technical. We can see that the non-technical actually has another branch going down, uh, which is token listening. Well, let's just start here to begin with. So non-technical, you, if you if you come down, you'll see a description of the court, uh, what sort of uh, skills are required for it, which is important that you read that part. And if you have those skills, then of course, that'd be in your best interest to stake in courts that you are skilled in. Otherwise, you may lose some or a lot of your PNK. Uh, so let's go ahead and aim for non-technical. So this is the, more, the most simple of the court, so therefore the stake is a little bit lower. And if you click here, you'll find out what the minimum stake for each court is. In this particular one, it's 15,000 PNK, so you, you must stake a minimum of 15,000 PNK. If we go back and have a look at a different court, for example, the token listing court, and we check in there, the minimum is 80,000 PNK. But the difference between these numbers is the complexity and time required on the juror side. So in the last court, which was a 15,000 PNK min stake, uh, the complexity of the disputes is reasonably simple uh, in comparison, and also um, the time required to resolve one of these disputes as a juror to find the shelling point, the coherent point, should be very quick. And that is a reflection of these numbers. Other courts moving forward with Kleros will also have different stakes. will be lower and higher than ones we've just looked at. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stake in here. And I see that I don't have any PNK, so my wallet balance is zero. Uh, obviously, I, I can't stake zero. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to the home. You'll see there's a buy PNK button here. Now... You can go ahead, if you have a Bitfinex or ETHFINEX account, you can go ahead and use those. Otherwise, you have IDEX, you can use that. And the most simple, which is within the DAP itself, is a Uniswap, uh, where you can just go in. I need 15,000 PNK, so I'm just going to stick that in there. Uh, and at the current price, that is 0 0.70 ETH. So I go ahead and buy that. Confirm. So yeah, as you can see, that's obviously $170 at the moment, which is a reasonable amount of money, of course. Uh, moving forward, there'll be a number of uh, further courts with a differing stakes, some of which will be even lower than this, uh, from a few dollars potentially, or 5 to $10, uh, and some of which will be higher in the, in the far more complicated courts. So great, I uh, have my 15,000 PNK now. I'm going to go ahead and stake that. So the court we wanted was blockchain non-technical. I have my 15,000. I'm going to click stake. I'm going to pay the fee. And that will go ahead and stake. So we'll return and we'll see that now in this dashboard, in the court start dashboard, you'll see we're now staked in non-technical. Uh, it shows you how much we've staked, 15,000 PNK. It shows you the reward. This is the ETH arbitration fee reward. So as a juror, uh, on a case in this subcourt, if you are coherent and vote with the majority, this is how much you will receive uh, in the first challenge. Once appeals happen, potential appeals in cases, this also rises, and you'll get more as a juror. Uh, you can see here the min stake, and this is the amount of PNK that's locked. So 
uh, assuming you're on the, the majority as a juror, you voted with the majority, you will receive that back, plus any of the other jurors who voted incoherently, so without the majority, you will receive a portion of their PNK as well. Which So every juror's is locked, you will receive yours back, and a portion of any incoherent jurors. If everyone votes with the majority, they all vote the same way, then you receive your PNK back and the ETH arbitration reward. Again, if you vote incoherently, you will not be given uh, the arbitration reward and you'll lose PNK. So it's very important that as a juror, uh, you stake in courts where you're skilled and you're likely to vote coherently. So basically, that's it. Now, uh, you, you wait and uh, hopefully you're drawn um, uh, for a dispute in this court uh, and they will bring up, uh, they will arrive here. You should also sign up for notifications. You do that by clicking on this uh, email icon. You can add your name, doesn't have to be your real name. Uh, your email can obviously be a, uh, any email you like. Uh, you save that. So that's it. Enjoy being a juror, analyzing the evidence and um, taking part in decentralized justice.